welcome to our first video lesson in arts. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to identify lines and kinds of lines. Also, you are expected to define shapes and differentiate organic from geometrical shapes. And lastly, you are expected to recognize the different kinds of colors in drawing. Let's start our lesson with lines. What is a line? A line is a basic element of art. In drawing, it is made by moving point made on a surface. We have eight kinds of lines. They are horizontal lines, vertical lines, diagonal lines, broken lines, zigzag lines, wavy lines, curved lines, and spiral lines. Let's start with horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are similar to horizon. This means calmness or quietness. Here is our example of horizontal line. To make a horizontal line, you need to start from right side going to left side. Or you can start from left moving to right. Our next example of line is the vertical line. Vertical lines are lines that move up and down, just like our example here. To make a vertical line, skids, once again, start moving from up to down, or it can be from down to up. It's up to you. Next is the diagonal lines. For diagonal lines, diagonal lines are slanting lines. This means motion. Here is our example of diagonal lines. For diagonal lines, you start moving from upper right to lower left, or it can be vice versa. Our next line is the broken lines. Broken lines are discontinuous lines. Here is our example of broken lines. Next is the zigzag lines. Zigzag lines are that made from a combination of diagonal lines. This means disorderliness or mattiness. Here is our example of zigzag lines. Next is the wavy line. A wavy line has a series of regular curves along it. Here is our example of wavy line. Our next kind of line is the curve lines. Curve lines are smooth, rounded, and bended lines. So below is our example of curve lines. And our last kind of line is the spiral lines. Spiral lines are lines that create infinity. Below is our example of spiral lines. Once again, we have eight types of lines and they are the horizontal lines, vertical lines, diagonal lines, broken lines, zigzag lines, wavy lines, curve lines, and spiral lines. Let's move the shapes. A shape is an enclosed area that is two-dimensional. It is limited to height and width. There are two categories of shapes. These are the geometrical shape and organic shape. What is geometrical shape? Geometrical shape have precise, defined edges and curves. 
Our example of geometrical shapes are circle, triangle, rectangle, heart, oval, hexagon, diamond, and pentagon. So we're done with geometrical shape. Let's move to organic shapes. Organic shapes are free flowing in appearance. They are the shapes that you usually see in nature. Our examples of organic shapes are the shape of the fish, the shape of the tree, and the shape of the cloud. Now we are able to differentiate geometrical shapes from organic shapes, let's move to colors. Colors add interesting mood and life to an artwork and to the surroundings. The color wheel is a chart showing the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors and how they are related to one another. Primary colors are basic colors. They are red, blue, and yellow. Secondary colors are results of combinations of two primary colors. Once again, our primary colors are blue, yellow, and red. Our secondary colors are green, orange, and violet. The last one is tertiary color. Tertiary color is a mixture of primary and secondary color. For tertiary colors, we have red violet, red orange, and yellow orange. What is complementary colors? Complementary colors are the opposite of colors and the color wheels. Complementary colors give contrast. And that is the end of our video lesson in arts. I hope you learned something, kids. You did a great job in listening attentively. Have an artful day. Goodbye.